Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is your girl Adriana DC. Today we are going to be discussing four fragrances from one of my new found favorite perfume brands, you guys, that I am absolutely in love with. If you guys followed me, you know, on my previous um shopping vlog when I went to Selfridges, I met an absolutely lovely salesperson that took me through every single fragrance in the range in which i fell in love with all of them you guys tonight i'm gonna bring you four fragrances that's definitely worth exploring i mean never mind that i love every single one from the brand but there are four fragrances that i have in my collection that i think are absolutely worth trying out and exploring they're definitely something different unique spectacular and they're just so interesting you guys so if you guys are interested in hearing you know um four fragrances from gold feeling banks that are worth you know you know the purchase are worth trying them by all means keep on watching if you guys are new here please don't forget to hit that subscribe button make sure to hit that notification bell so that way you will be notified every single time i upload and for those of you who are my returning subscribers thank you guys for supporting me so goldfield and banks is an australian perfume brand it's actually one of the first perfume brands it was founded by a dimitri weber who is actually the founder and creative director of the brand now goldfield and banks is actually um it's sourced in australia but it's actually blended and bottled in france which is you know the haven of you know perfume expertise or connoisseurs so, goldfield um, and banks fragrances they are blended and they actually made a bottled in france and if you order them from england they will be dispatched to you from you know france or whatever so basically this brand um uses a lot of you know pure and rare ingredients that's usually that's only found in australia so um the brand uses a lot of you know oils and um, ingredients that's not really common in other fragrance brands and can't be found nowhere else in the world so this is quite a very impressive and interesting brand interesting brand comes off quite exquisite and very much unique now the brand is um majority of the fragrances are actually vegan except for the botanical series which includes purple suede and silky woods so all the other fragrances are entirely vegan um you know scents which of course the brand cares uh, quite a lot about they are very much conscious i should say environmentally conscious so i am very much in love with this brand i have with me four scents that absolutely stored my heart and every single time because i have them now a couple of months and every single time that i smell these fragrances they just like they just drive me crazy you guys they're so 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 good so the first scent that i'm going to be recommending to you guys is desert rosewood you guys beautiful bottle as you can see it's quite simplistic minimalistic it's it has a nice weight to it it's not too hefty not too light it feels like you know like a considerable heftiness to it to give off you know um, a bit of expensive feel to it now the price point of these fragrances is actually 135 pounds and this is a niche perfume brand um i think they're exclusively sold at selfridges in england you guys but 135 pounds for a hundred mil niche fragrance it's not too bad in my opinion it's actually on the cheaper end of niche fragrances that you can grab in you know selfridges let me just give you guys the notes of desert rose so, the notes in desert rosewood are palisander rosewood benzoin patchouli cardamom vanilla and sicilian mandarin one thing to note about goldfield and banks fragrances they don't list their notes in top um middle and base the fragrance is constructed you know um you know there are no like top mids and lows when it comes to this fragrance now what does this perfume smell like oh my lord oh god oh my god this way this perfume smell oh this smells so good you guys now what does this perfume smell like to be honest with you, it smells like a spicy, ambery, woody scent. But there is, I want to say, I'm picking up the Alessandra Rosewood. That's what I'm getting. You definitely get like a, it's like a soapy, woody, clean scent. 
It's a soapy, woody, clean scent. And I'm also getting... Oh, God. It's a very interesting fragrance, you guys. Very interesting perfume. I'm picking up something in the heart. I want to say maybe it's a patchouli leaf. I'm picking up the patchouli. All I know is... You get the spiciness, the palisander wood, and you get... I want to say you definitely pick up the patchouli in this scent. The mandarin is in the background but it's like again because of how this fragrance is blended you can it smells as if everything has been just blended together in like a perfect balance so to speak but you're still getting the um the you're getting the complexity of everything combined in this fragrance beautiful exquisite smelling fragrance okay oh it's such a beautiful scent you guys i don't know I don't know el how else to describe this scent to you. I want to say, oh my God, no. It's really strong, okay? Now, in my opinion, this perfume lasts all day. I've played around with all of these scents I'm telling you guys about. Every single one of them lasts. Now, they're not like crazy projectors, but they are a solid wearing experience when you wear this scent. And when you smell it, the palisander rosewood is what lingers with you. That's what you get. The rosewood it lingers it literally stays with you you guys mm. i said it is a glorious smelling fragrance you guys and like the name implies i think desert rose would just think of a dry um earthy woodiness i know there isn't um there's no like vetiver or anything in here let's have a look Right. There's no vetiver or anything like here in anything like that in this fragrance, but there is somewhat of a dry, earthy smell. It smells like the dry earth, but you get a lot of rose and woody presence within this fragrance. There's the essence of a rose inside of here, but it's coupled with a woody tone, in my opinion, you guys. It's kind of a cold, so it's like a dry, earthy coldness combined with a woody essence in this perfume. Let me tell y'all. This is a beautiful smelling fragrance, you guys. When I tell you, this is a beautiful, captivating fragrance. It smells exquisite. It smells expensive. Okay, it smells well kept. It just smells so divine, you guys. Desert Rosewood is absolutely one of, you know, it's like, there were a few from the brand that really jump out at me. Well, not the few. Um, you know, there's like your favorite and then there's your favorite, like which ones I'm going to get first. And this was one that I just had to get my hands on. Okay. I absolutely love this fragrance. I think it's quite unique, very different. Nothing like what I have in my collection and it's a spectacular scent, you guys. I'm so, every time I smell this perfume, it's like an exciting feel, you guys. So Desert Rosewood from Goldfield and Banks is definitely a scent to try from this brand. Next up, we have Sunset our you guys and funny thing about this scent is a very long time ago I actually if you guys notice like the community the perfume community went crazy about this scent recently but when this perfume just came out i think i went and i smelled it like the actual day that it was released and the puff i remember the salesperson recommending it to me and kind of pushing the fragrance to me and i was just like it was definitely beautiful it was definitely memorable but i was like i'm not quite sure because i wasn't really familiar with the brand but let me tell y'all okay beautiful smelling fragrance let me just get my hands on the note all right so this fragrance has a notes of cash oh kwandang desert peach raspberry interesting <laughs> So this fragrance, this note, this fragrance has a notes of Kwandang Desert Peach Raspberries. Interesting. Cashmere wood, sandalwood, mandarin orange, pink pepper, jasmine sambat, benzoin, and ginger. All I know is this perfume has a oh god, I'm gonna run out of spaces to spray this. Okay. Now I'm just gonna spray it on the box here right quick because yeah, I'm gonna run out of space to spray these scents. No, there is a sweet, very prominent presence of benzoin in this fragrance, you guys. The benzoin mixing with that, right? The, the peach and the raspberries. Oh my god! It smells like a fruity yogurt. It smells like a fruity yogurt, but it's a smooth, sweet. You get the ginger, a smooth, sweet, gingery um, 
peach and raspberry yogurt. That's what I get from this perfume. You definitely get the jasmine. One thing about this fragrance, I like how the combination, the combination in the scent, it's like you get the you get the presence of all of the notes. It's a beautiful combination, but they've like um, kind of like a song system where you tweak all of the important parts of the song system to make sure you have a nice balanced volume or uh, melody or uh, music coming from it. That's what I come. That's what comes to mind. That's how I feel about the notes in this fragrance. A beautiful balance of every single scent to the extent that you're getting a hint of all of the best parts of these notes in included in this fragrance. When I tell you this is beautiful and exquisite. Beautiful fragrance in my opinion. Very interesting scent, okay? Now, I will say to you, obviously this is for the spring and summer, okay? As you can see, the bottle is crisp, crisp like crystal clear, sleek and clean the liquid is like a light peachy color right it looks like a light peachy color okay the out of all of these scents i'm gonna tell you guys about this one is the least long lasting okay this one doesn't last that drastically long you get four hours four hours plus the about but it definitely doesn't last as long as the others it doesn't have that like strong projection like the other fragrances but it is a beautiful fragrance to add to your collection now in comparison to like rouge smoking that doesn't last this definitely gives you a lot more um longevity than that um it gives you a little bit more longevity than killian fragrances you know the performance the general performance of killian fragrances it performs better than killian scents okay so that's beautiful in my opinion this fragrance right here even though it was like the first fragrance that i experienced from the brand let me tell ya there is so much more to explore from gold feeling banks everybody is talking about this one and the bohemian lime is even more spectacular you guys the bohemian lime is very very interesting and unique in my opinion this is beautiful but if you think that this is like the highlight of this brand oh my lord you guys need to explore the entire range like I said to you, this whole range is coming home. It just ain't reached yet, but I am just getting started when it comes to gold, feed, and banks. So this is Sunset Hour. Now, this next fragrance is actually the first scent that I bought from the brand. It was like the most spectacular for me. It's the one that spoke to me and called me the most. And this one is actually Southern Bloom. This is the one that I actually captured force because let me tell y'all it's such a beautiful beautiful fragrance and at the time when i purchased the scent i did not know that it actually had in coconuts and i think it's just the island girl in me that the coconut vibe in this fragrance just absolutely captivated me you guys let me just give you guys the notes in southern Blue. so the notes in this fragrance is cassis mandarin orange um baronia coconut italian iris jasmine sandback ylang ylang in the base we have sandalwood musk amber and vetiver so unlike the other fragrances this one in particular was actually listed in top mid and base notes uh, i'm not quite sure what the reason is for the difference but this perfume here it smells like a soft white milky florally sweet scent you get the essence of the coconut but what they've done is giving you the coconut milk it's not a overly creamy warm coconutty scent or presence like um utopia from kylie it's not that type of um coconut essence for me the dose of coconut essence in here so it smells a lot more realistic it smells a lot more realistic you get the presence of it but it's like um it's there, but it, they gave you the richness from it. The richness from the coconut, the coconut milk. But um, it doesn't smell artificial. It smells very natural. It smells like um, refined. It smells clean. It smells pretty. It smells fresh and eerie. This is an absolutely beautiful smelling fragrance. It has a sophistication to it, you guys. Smelling this perfume is so breathtaking. Oh. Mm. Again, this perfume is giving you kind of, it's similar to um, velvet. It's giving you somewhat um, velvet orchid vibes. But this one, of course, it's not as harsh. 
and not as spicy it's a bit more and it's sweeter as well it's a creamy soft white floral scent beautiful amount of sweetness included in this fragrance and again the essence of coconut it's not a coconut dominant scent but it's not a coconut dominant scent in this fragrance again it's characterful it's not like your traditional coconut fragrance in my opinion nothing like that at all this coconut fragrance it does not scream vacation holiday summer vibes nothing like that it's actually coming off a little bit cold okay it's a fragrance that you know it's channeling like all year wrong vibes but it's all year wrong um is is the scent that that a woman wears who spends her day in ac that's well polished who doesn't break a sweat who is nipped and tucked and just like laid to the gods that's the person that's the vibe i'm getting from this perfume what a beautiful fragrance you guys this is such a beautiful scent like when i tell you such a beautiful fragrance so let me just tell you the notes that i'm picking up in it just in case you know i have not you know um like <laughs> embellished upon everything you know that i'm getting from it without highlighting anything you know specific so i'm not getting any cassis and mandarin arranged so to speak i am getting the coconut definitely the powdery iris you're getting that the jasmine the sweetness on the jasmine there is a clean vibe to this perfume the ylang ylang a clean soapy vibe to this perfume definitely get that presence and the sandalwood quite quite strong in this perfume now musk there is a hint of musk they're listing amber i'm not getting amber and i'm i'm not getting amber and i'm not getting vetiver if there is a present of vetiver it's a very lightly light sprinkle of vetiver in this fragrance and can i just say to you guys this perfume lasts like all day long it's not like a this the thing about this perfume is that they're long lasting they're not like bold in your face. They're not strong scents, but they're very solid wearing experiences. Like I said to you, they perform better than Rouge Smoking. They perform better than Killian Fragrances. But they feel along the lines, the texture of those fragrances is quite similar. You know, they come off really soft, but these fragrances literally stay with you all day long. You smell them. It's not obnoxious. It's a, just a beautiful, you know, wearing experience in my opinion, you guys. So this is Southern Bloom by Goldfield and Banks. And this last fragrance that I have in my collection from the brand is Velvet Splendor, you guys. And just listen to the name. The name alone just sounds like music to your ears. Velvet Splendor, you guys. Like, can I just tell you how capturing the name itself is? Let me just give you guys the notes in this fragrance. So Velvet Splendor, it has in Mimosa, Jasmine Sandback, and Tonka Bean. We got Orange Blossom. We got Orange Blossom, Patchouli, Australian Sandalwood. If you guys notice all of these fragrances, and that's something about the brand. The signature of the brand, all of the fragrances are laced and grounded with Australian Sandalwood. So this is a, a signature and, and somewhat of a DNA that all of the Goldfield and Banks fragrances have the Australian Sandalwood. So you also have Haitian vetiver, leather, and mandarin orange. Let me tell y'all, Velvet Splendor. Velvet Splendor. Whew. Oh, it smells so nice. Mm. Okay. Now, this fragrance, you definitely get a lot of the mimosa, the jasmine, but you're getting a lot of orange blossom. You're getting a lot of yellow florals. A lot of yellow florals in this fragrance very strong there is a soapiness in here so you're getting a lot of jasmine and orange blossom mixing with the mimosa you're getting a lot of florals it's coming off a little bit clean a little bit soapy it's really sweet the sandalwood is not playing a big big role it is grown in this fragrance but we're getting a little bit of the leathery touches in here so it's a leathery vibe but it's not it's more like velvet. It's like a, um, I should say suede. I would say more like a suede vibe, even though it says velvet. The leather in here is not dusty. It's not heavy. This is not a heavy fragrance by any means. All of these fragrances, they smell divine. They smell like they've been blended with care. They smell very delicate and clean and pretty. They smell like, even though they're so refined, the scent profile is very prominent and very strong, very well-balanced, you know, scents included in this fragrance. 
beautiful fragrance you guys when i tell you this is an absolutely beautiful scent every single selection from this brand has been just spectacular 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 to me you guys and once again this perfume stays with you all day long it's kind of like strange because it's like it's it's a sleeper in a way but not a sleeper like how people talk about boy d'ajan from dior it's not a sleeper in that way so you smell the fragrance but it's like a low vibration type of scent it's like a mellow scent that just stays with you like all day and it's a beautiful sweet scent like i'm telling you i've worn the scent and i come home and you t you know it's not gonna be like loud and like um like the scent trail is not going to be like gigantic that much but it's on your clothes and it kind of stays with you you guys i'm telling you the wearing experience with these fragrances is quite solid so for me goldfield and banks right now you guys is like my new favorite perfume brand this brand has a lot of spectacular memorable scents you guys i love 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 this brand i can't recommend it enough the price point is almost orgasmic so to speak it's not like cheap like cheap cheap but 135 in the world of niche scents at salvages you're truly getting a spectacular offering in really crisp clean and neat bottles okay beautiful fragrances you guys not to mention the packaging isn't too bad as well it's quite sleek they have made some changes or should i say yes they've made some changes they recently changed the packaging so they have they have made some diff some changes to the packaging i don't know if it's like recent so for example the sunset hour comes in the box like this where it has like um a little you know you can fit the bottle into here has like a sleeve to it the sleeve yeah, is quite sleek very neat doesn't feel cheap at all and then um the southern bloom has the same packaging but then the velvet splendor which i feel is so nice with compliments so this one does not have the sleeve and go on like a jacket instead it fits just nice and snug instead of this whole box so i don't know if they made some changes or whatever but the attention to detail the personalization with compliments oh my god you guys this is my newfound favorite perfume brand so enough of me rambling on and adoring this brand you guys these are four fragrances from goldfield and banks which i think are absolutely worth trying in addition to every other fragrance from this brand i'm telling you goldfield and banks is where it's at for me at least i can't wait to get my hands on every single one of them so i do hope you guys enjoyed this perfume video if you guys have tried any of these fragrances other than sunset hour let me know your thoughts okay uh yeah let me know your thoughts and what you think about the brand um if you enjoyed this video please let me please give me a thumbs up and let me know which one of them you're going to be trying out or exploring or which one of, which one of them you're interested in having a go at and if of course if you enjoyed it please don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you watch this video to the end do give me a thumbs up hit the subscribe button make sure to hit that notification bell so that way you will be notified every single time i upload and for those of you who are my returning subscribers thank you guys for supporting me i truly appreciate your support until next time see you guys in my next video bye, -bye.